Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Stephen Davidson here in another shave video. It's about, I don't know, about 15 after 10, maybe 10 30, somewhere around in there. It's about uh, 90 degrees outside already. We're getting there. And uh, I've got my morning coffee. It's my third cup. I've switched to decaf. Dunkin' Donuts decaf and original blend. That's about all I drink. Uh, all right, I've just got out of the shower, and while I was in the shower, I used this Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Atomic Bay Rum Shampoo Bar. That's what I used, and it's fabulous. It's fantastic. These things get, last forever. And let me tell you, the smell on this is amazing. That's my shave for today so far. I'm going to go with my uh, usual, or one of my usual, Synthetics Razor Rock Pliss Soft. I'm going to go with my uh, ZY430. And the star of the party. Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements or Crown King Atomic Bay Rub. And uh, I'm going to finish it off with Club Band Virgin Island Bay Rub. My barbershop still uses this to this day and I love it so I got the huge bottle. Maggards tried to pull a fast one on me and the shipping was more than the bottle. Uh -uh. Bad idea. I ended up getting it from uh, Straight Razor Designs, which they got a slew of razors. The scent on Atomic Bay Rum is a Bay Rum fragrance that's been aged in a white American oak, American white oak barrel that's been charred. An actual whiskey barrel that's made right here in the United States ages the fragrance that they use in the soap and the aftershave i'm sure is phenomenal as well because that's where douglas shines his aftershaves and edps and edts and whatnot are off the page you, you're not going to beat those specifically his aftershave jelly but they uh, yeah and uh they uh age the fragrance and the aftershave alcohol based aftershave and the uh Charred American White Oak Barrel. Speaking of American White Oak Barrels, so I went to face with cold water. Douglas will find this interesting too. There's an old woodworking factory plant in the nearby town of Atkins, Virginia. And uh, it was just recently announced that a certain beverage company, I forget the name of it, or Cooperage rather, is going to be uh, reopening that plant and starting 160 new jobs in the uh, in that old factory. And they're scheduled to be up and running in 12 to 14 months. The stave mill will be uh, down further south of me, uh, about 20 minutes, in Washington County. And uh, basically, they're going to be using... Uh, they're going to be milling the staves down there out of uh, white oak barrels. They're going to be making a, about eighty percent of the oak will come from right here in Virginia. So it's going to be interesting. And I guarantee you, once they start charring them, and you go through that area, if the wind's right, you'll be able to smell the charred oak barrels as they make them. In fact, they. Uh, they're encouraging us to show up when they first fire it up. So I have a feeling I might be there. Consider one of my favorite scents of all time is uh, burning firewood. My neighbors here have wood stoves, and if the wind's right, you can walk outside of my house and you can smell the firewood burning. And it is fantastic. That's more water. The Crown King formula that Douglas uses is amazing. Only did two swirls. And this is the lather you get. You do any more than that with these soaps and 
you pretty much uh, got to start over. Mm -mm. Mm, man, this scent is amazing. If you like bay rum and you like the toast, toasted oak smell of toasted oak on top of it, this soap is right up your alley. And the shampoo bar is off the page. My whole shower smells like atomic bay rum now. And it's going to be interesting considering Douglas also has... Atomic pumpkin coming out. He's not doing his pumpkin 314 no more because he felt like everybody else is either copying him or doing the exact same thing. And I can't blame him on that. But I got news for you, Douglas, if you're watching. Douglas Mike. You can still make it and it will still outdo anything and everything that's out there right now. We recently went into Bath and Body Works and everything they had smelt like butt. <laughs> I'm serious. It, they, they, nothing appealed to me in that store anymore. They had the Zio Bigelow, but it was only in a travel size tube of cream. And considering the fact that it's a rebranded Parasso Green, why not just buy Parasso and be done with it? You can get Parasso in a cream or a hard puck, and it's the exact same soap. So, in my opinion, and I don't think it's just mine, but uh, in my opinion, just buy Parasso Green straight up, which I did. And uh, that should do it. I think I'll go and get me a pack of t-shirts for shave videos. I'm going to keep covered, but at the same time, I don't want to get my other shirt wet like I did this one. But it'll dry pretty soon. Or at least I hope it will. Oh, congratulations to my buddy Anthony Esposito. This morning, he became a grandpa for the first time. He's got a beautiful little granddaughter named Selena. Congratulations, buddy. Cheers and salute. Mm -mm. All right, let's rinse off the blade a little bit with cold water. I do cold water shaving now, and it's fabulous. That's when I hit the nail on the head on this one. On was. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. It's going to be a good one here. Mm. Mm-hmm. 
Mm. 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 What soap? Nice first pass. Very nice first pass actually. But it still needs a little touch more, so let me pause this and hit the fire hose drop. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Weather up for past two, add more water. I kind of like my uh, lather a little bit on the runny side and thin. For straight razor shaving for DE, I want that little extra cushion and get a little touch thicker. But I don't use these that much anyway, except to trim with now. So, so don't be afraid to do what I'm doing right now, and that's add more water. And also, new guys, don't be afraid to do what I just did, and that was pause the video and go hit a strop and then shave with it, because you'd be surprised how much stropping does make a difference. And you ain't got to do uh, a lot now. You really don't. About all you really need to do, and this is no joke, I do 10 round trips max. I don't do any more than that. And I'm still, in fact, I, not only am I still getting great results, I actually got better results. In nearly five years of wet shaving, I have discovered that less is more when it comes to soap, lather, everything, stropping, you name it, less is more. You don't need a whole lot. You really don't. All right, now my money pass. You know, lots of good stuff coming out for the fall. I still haven't seen my uh, Concord grapes yet. Mom's really itching to get a hold of them. We tried the Tom Cord, but they were very bitter. I think the year before that, she tried them and they were good, but uh, I think they picked them too early or something. They had a ton of them, but they, I'd rather see the Concord. The Muscadine grapes are also out. Those are the, the muscadine are the best ones you can use if you want to make wine, so. But I don't drink, so. You can, even if I wanted to, do the acid reflux and uh, whatnot.
And I'm sure everybody's heard by now, but uh, sadly, yesterday we lost the bandit himself, Mr. Burt Reynolds. Rest in peace, buddy. He'd been uh, suffering for, uh, according to news, various news sources, Fox News, Wikipedia, wherever you go to get, he'd been suffering from uh, congestive and heart problems for years now, so he's now at peace. So that means the only ones I know of that's left of that whole entire cast that I know of is Sally Field. And I don't know if Lil Enos is still living or not. I know the rest of them aren't. So it's a sad thing. So what it is. That movie spawned a lot. Uh, spawned a lot. The Dukes of Hazard, and how ironic that in the first motion picture movie they done on the big screen, not the TV movie, the ones after that, about 10, 12 years ago, how ironic that Burt Reynolds actually played Boss Hogg in that movie. And uh, he said in the interview, he says, I don't know if he'd take the blame or not for the Dukes, but he said he took the credit several times due to the Smokey and the Bandit movie, so... That was it. And not only was it it, it was the movie back in the day. It came out about uh, about two, three months before I was born, maybe somewhere in there. So they don't make movies like that anymore. They really don't. Hmm. Oh, the smell of this is epic. About time for me to start hitting up Start Gold City for another razor. I ought to get one off of Anthony, too. But uh, I'm going to try a little something here. I'll probably hit up Amazon later on and get me a couple of 66s and go from there and hone them up. I want to do a quick tune stone method for the new guys to prove that not only can it be done it has been done in fact when you look at dr matt's under running water technique i call it uses is two stones and 8k and finisher that's it sadly though i think dr matt uses a a norton finisher norton 8k finisher but unfortunately i ain't got the heart to tell them it's not really an 8k it's more like a 5k my superhero 5k actually beats it in terms of that deal okay now i'm gonna go with the grain on the neck follow the cost of the grain on the face My other buddy Keith Johnson found the micron rating and for Norton, and it was like a three micron uh, stone for the Norton 4K 8K, and there's no way a three micron stone could.
to be an AK. He proved that, and hats off to him for that. And that was an hour and a half long video, but it influenced me in the form of purchasing my 8K stone, which was the original Nineewa Snow White. I got it from uh, Chef's Nights to go. They didn't send me the box, they just sent me the stone, but that's okay. Well, I said east to west, but I just went ahead and went against the grain. Went with I just go ahead and go again with the grain. Ain't gonna hurt nothing. Hope everybody's doing well this Friday. Oh, what a rip. Oh, yeah. I'm going to heat up in here a little bit more. And i got to trim the side back this trip around. We're starting to bush out real bad. Almost time for you to get a haircut, too. Might get that this week, I don't know yet. Trim the old sideburns real quick. That was a uh, McCore 1904 Classic Clothes Comb. And I've got a, well, I've got to take it off anyway to rinse it off. But uh, that's a Gillette Silver Blue Blade in there. Try that puppy off and soak it in some mother set if I need to, but I don't think I need to on that. So let's rinse again real quick. I use my earlobes, the inside of my earlobes to line up my sideburns. It helps. Spot right in here. Didn't quite get clean enough. Gotta be careful when I do that there. Better. Much, much, much better. Rinse off again. Nice. Oh, I'm squeaky clean. I'm irritation free. I'm not even done more than one pass. Right? I'm even done more than three passes. Hats off to straight razors, baby. Okay, we went with Crown King Atomic Bay Run by Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements. We went with 
Razor Rock Plus Soft 24 millimeter knot. I went with the ZY430, fresh off the stones, followed up by a quick brief stropping on the fire hose drop. And I'm going to fish it off with Clubman Virgin Island Bay Road. Mm. Careful, no, not much of a stopper in that one either, so be careful. Let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah, the burn. Good burn, and it feels good. Oh. Oh, that's pure tits right there. Friday after, Friday morning going into afternoon. Well. Combined with a solid hard core straight razor shave and trim. And you got gold, baby. Uh, that ought to be illegal for a shave to be that good, but it was. <laughs> Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Take care. God bless.